step-by-step -step guide to accurately measure custom bunker gear. Pen or pencil. Cloth tape measure in inches. Weight scale. Digital camera or cell phone with camera. Form M209 measuring form for custom turnout gear with measuring tape. The first measurement you will take is the chest measurement. Measure around the fullest part of the chest to the closest half inch. Enter that number into column A. Measure over the arms at the fullest part of the chest and biceps to the closest half inch. Enter that number into column B. Measure the arm starting from the center base of the neck to over the shoulder, then to the outer point of the elbow. From there, measure to the top of the knuckle bone of the little finger. Please make sure the arm is at a 90 degree angle. Enter that number into column E. Measure over the top of the hip bones where the body folds. The waistline is usually aligned with the navel. Enter that number into column C. Measure at the largest part of the hips or buttocks, whichever is largest. Enter that number into column D. Ask the firefighter to bend to the side to indicate the correct starting point. Measure from that point above the hip bone down to the floor. This measurement should be done without shoes. Enter that number into column G. Make sure your feet are shoulder width apart. Ask the person you are measuring to hold the tape measure high in the crotch. Measure from that point down to the bottom of the ankle bone. Enter that number into column H. General information. Ask the firefighter their height and enter that number into column F. Ask the firefighter their weight and enter that number into the column marked pounds. Indicate if the firefighter is male or female in the column marked M or F. Have the firefighter verify if the information is correct and sign their name under firefighter's signature. Your completed M209 form should look like this. One last thing. Take two pictures of the firefighter being sized, one from the front and one from the side profile. Once all of the steps listed have been completed and the document has been filled out, you will need to send all this information to your dealer.